adjustment. Hey everybody, I uh, want to give you a little update. I told everybody to wait a few minutes till we get a few people on here. Give you a little update of uh, what's going on. I just got back from the hospital. So I told you guys it would let you know how India was doing. And I'll wait just a few seconds here. Uh, I don't know if anybody will be on, you know, this late or not. And I figured you get a notification. Maybe there's one person. But we just returned from the hospital. And uh, India got to come home. Uh, she's got pneumonia. So uh, they've got her on a, started her on a, uh, what do you call it, z pack Antibiotics. And uh, we've got to go get, they got her started on so i got to go tomorrow and get her the rest of her z pack and stuff. And uh, she's got to do a follow-up Monday, so good news. Uh, they told her, of course, they had to do the COVID test. So she's got to stay in her bedroom for three days until she hears back the results from that test. And uh, but I'm all right to go. They said anybody else in the household was fine to... Uh, go wherever we needed to go and do whatever we needed to do but just just as a precautionary measure keep her in the bedroom and sort of you know keep things disinfected around her and things like that so uh but she does have pneumonia and the only thing that i'm thinking because here it is in the middle of summertime and i know you can get pneumonia anytime the only thing I can think of, guys, and, and this is, I'm, I'm truly serious with you guys, is it was the mask wearing. I mean, we've been fine for three months not wearing a mask, just washing our hands. But all of a sudden, all of us started wearing masks, and uh, we're all getting sick. So I'm, I'm, I'm laying the blame squarely up on that. Uh, not going to wear those bacteria things over my... We're not going to wear them bacteria-ridden things over my mouth anymore. I'm going to keep my hands washed, keep clean, keep things disinfected. Uh, but I truly believe that's what gave her pneumonia, about all that moisture just kept going down in her lung. And uh, if God wanted us to have some kind of covering like that over her face, guys, uh, he would have put it over her face when we was born. I'm telling you, uh, I think our bodies are naturally supposed to dispose of all the bad bacteria and everything like this. And when you got something covering that, it just lays against your face and you keep breathing that down in your lung. And I'm pretty sure that's what made her develop pneumonia and that's what made me and Ruby sick uh, in Ireland. So uh, that's my take on it and I'm sticking to it. And there you have, where you been at, Granny? Thank you for wishing her well. I'll let her know. We was on earlier explaining to everybody what we was doing tonight. So I uh, hadn't seen you in a while, gal. Uh, we got a big old sale going on Saturday up on the square. We got a unit. You, you ain't watched in a while. We got a unit with probably 20,000 pieces of retail items. Oh, you always around. Just you ready to jump in there, ain't you, hon? Uh, uh, no, Bernard. Uh, they gave her z pack because she's got pneumonia. They really don't think she's got COVID, but they've got to do that test. Uh... Hey there, Drake. z pack there you go. Uh, she got really pneumonia, and I knew that she had something going on. She needed some kind of antibiotics or something. Oh, Shauna, that'll be good. Shauna, you ought to display some of your talent on the square Saturday, okay, hon? I'll talk to you about that tomorrow sometime. We've got some artists that's going to be displaying their talents on the square. We'll call them Shade Tree Artists or Shade Tree Talent. That way it don't gather a big crowd, but you know, just a few people watching different parts of the square. Uh, we got one artist that's gonna be a, doing a painting that you're gonna love too. But no, Bernard, uh, she, uh, uh, she just been sick for two or three days and all of us have been sick. And uh, I promise you, uh, as soon as we started wearing masks, all of us started getting sick. I mean, it wasn't nothing, uh, no major illness. Uh, it wasn't a major, I'll answer that in just a second, Bernard. It wasn't a major illness. It's just a stopped up head feeling, uh, like a, your, your lungs are getting wet. And we've all experienced that. And it's, uh, I don't know if our family's bodies are just, uh, we can't handle that, you know, mask wearing. And like I said, 
uh, God gives us a natural ability in our body to expel all the germs and the bad bacteria. We expel that just constantly. And when, and I'm not a doctor, but I've got common sense. Uh, no, uh, the, uh, but it stays over your mouth uh, constantly. And you're breathing that back down in your lung and it's, it's making a lot more, more, you know, wet air going back down in your lung. And I really believe that's what gave her pneumonia. Now, Bernard, she had just a, and they didn't even call it a fever. They said if it's not over 100, she ain't got a fever. So, no, she basically didn't have a fever. Now, our oxygen level, we had one of those things, and it would get down to 90 when she would lay down. And that's what concerned me. That's why I knew something was going on in her lungs. But uh, I really think, uh, you know, uh, that was uh, one of the main culprits of it. The only thing that I can think of. And so uh, I'm... Uh, I'm a firm believer in trying to believe in science and to do what's right, but I know when something's up and I know when something ain't right. It's just common sense and it's a God-given uh, uh, discernment that he gives you that just something ain't right. And guys, you gotta believe me, it's just something ain't right with all of this. I know, I know COVID's bad, uh, but they're just... Yeah, that's what it was, Bernard. Uh, we got one of them. Uh, but I know it's bad and everything, but there's just something inside of me, a discernment, and it ought to be in everybody that just something ain't right. You gotta know that. You gotta believe me. I wouldn't just steer nobody wrong. Uh, it ain't about politics. No, they didn't give her any oxygen when she was there. Uh, and that's what one thing I was concerned with because her oxygen actually stayed up. Uh, it was real cool in the hospital and good fresh air. Her auction actually stayed up there. Uh, of course, she didn't lay down and go to sleep or anything, and that's why I've not been sleeping good at night. I've been watching that uh, pulse meter there, uh, making sure you know that her auction didn't fall, because uh, you do hear so many horror stories about that. But uh, they didn't give her any auction there, and uh, uh, she said, "I'm gonna tell you something." No, I've never had that done. But I won't tell you this, Bernard. India got the COVID test. And you know, everybody tells y'all it ain't nothing. Uh, if they call her back in three days and say she's got the COVID and you're going out to go test Mr. Whitney, I'm going to say, oh, you just going to have to quarantine me for 14 days. Yeah. Because she said that hurt worse than about anything she's ever had done. She that said that thing went way up there. I called her right after she had it done. She was almost crying. And she told me, she said, it's still hurting. And the nurse was so nice, she and it said she told her, uh, well, we just got back from the hospital, taking India back, she's got pneumonia. We're doing good, the kids are doing good. We just got to take care of mama. India is uh, hidden, but no, Bernard and everybody else, she said that thing hurt so bad and i'm not trying to scare nobody i just i'm a, I'm a big baby india is really good about stuff like that uh but they she said it went up there and she said it hurt it burnt and uh i told her i said i'm so sorry honey i know it robbie and be careful honey try to get you some breathers in between that because I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm not a doctor, but I'm a firm believer that all that moisture and that bacteria that you're supposed to be disposing of naturally is, is getting sucked back in your lungs. And if, and, and I don't know, and like I said, I know I just something in my bones tells me that something's up with all this. And most people can see it. They can see it. Don't get, get that cat off of me. <laughs> I don't like cats. I, I like one of the cats is what I like. But there's something up, guys. It, I, I feel it. I, I really feel it in my bones, a discernment that just something ain't right. There's too much confusion. Uh, there's too many different stories. The the numbers just uh, are, are whacked. And it's just there's something up. And I know it deep down inside of me. It's it's just something's not right because you know what? If if everything was just this gloom and doom, as they say, I think everybody would be working together. Just like we did 911 when we had those attacks. Just like when other things happened in our country. But something's different about this. Some people know something's up. Something's different about this.
And I know it's a lot of conspiracy theories, Bernard, and I'm not big on, like with the 911 conspiracy theories, I just, and a lot of the things I just overlook that I see on Facebook. And I know that's all it is, but there, there's something to some of these. And it's, and if, if everything was just kosher, I believe that all of the United States would be on the same bandwagon. I believe all of us would be together on this. Would be the division and the fussing and the debating and everything. But there's something about this that's that some people know it's something up, and they just they just won't give in to that because they know just something ain't right. Now I believe, like I said, I know it's real. I know it's it's killed people, uh, and I know uh, that it's not a hoax or anything like that. But there's something going on here, and about half of America is not buying into it. And if uh, half of America is not doing it, you know, because when crisis happened in this country, whether it's a war or anything, we all pull together. Democrats, Republicans, uh, people that uh, usually don't agree with each other, we pull together. But there's a reason America's not pulling together for this. It's a reason there, guys. And I don't know if it's any kind of conspiracy theory or anything like that, but there's something not kosher with this or all of America will be on board. And we'll be, we'll be doing all this debate, and we all be saying, oh, yeah, let's help each other do that. Let's do this right. Let's do this. Uh, let's, let's show you how to do this. And that's not happening. And I think God's got it built into this country that when we're in crisis, uh, true crisis, that all of us come together. And there's something that's not right here, and that's the reason people's not coming together. But anyway, uh, Bernard, that's my conspiracy theory, brother. <laughs> But uh, thank you guys for the prayers. Uh, like I said, India is uh, so creepy. I was so worried about her. No, uh, but yeah, I know that, Bernard. But even even after 911, people that didn't like George Bush, George W., when he stood there uh, uh, amongst those ruins and was talking to the American people, I don't think there was a Democrat or a Republican or any kind of politician uh, that could say anything about our country. We was all standing there saluting him. Uh, and that's why I'm saying there's something going on here. It just ain't politics. I, I really don't think it's politics. It's, uh, well, it sort of is. Yeah, Bernard, uh, and, and that's, that's what worries me, because I asked a question on Facebook. <clears throat> I asked a question. I said, if there was a cure for COVID today, and everything went back to normal, but it meant that Trump would be reelected for four more years, what would you think about that? And I wanted people to really think. I, I usually make statements uh, that make people think, one way or the other. But you know, not one person got on there and said, you know, there you go, Mike. You know, not, I, I really thought maybe there'd be one Democrat, one liberal, that, one Trump hater, period, that would get on and say, you know, if it meant saving lives and it meant getting us back to normal as a country, I'd accept four more years of Trump. You know, not one of them got on there and said that. And if somebody had said this about Biden, and had to said the same thing, Jerry, if there was a cure for COVID today and the country went back to normal, but it meant Biden would be our president in the next election, I would have said, I choose life over politics. Hear me again, I'll say that again. I choose life anytime over politics. I wouldn't like it, not one bit. But if that scenario, and I know it's just uh, Biden being president for four years, and admit, care for COVID, going back to normal, because I'd want to choose life and health over politics. And if you can't sit there and say that either way, that you would choose that, then it is about politics. And it's not about caring. And it's not about life. I know, Mike, and, that, and that's my opinion on it. And that's what I was trying to let... Even if people, because I feel like when there's something about COVID that's positive, you know, maybe it's getting beat that's put on the internet, you've got so many people saying, no, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. It's almost like they're cheering it on. And I don't want to believe this about my fellow Americans. I, I don't want to believe it. 
But I'm, I'm afraid that people hate Trump so bad that they're willing for people to die, that they're willing for people to be sick. They're willing for people's businesses to close down and have economic ruin on this country if it just get Trump out. And I know they don't come right out in the open and say that, but I wish they'd open their eyes and say, hey, let's work together and beat this stuff. It don't matter about, you know, what's, let's, not, let's not base it uh, on if this thing's gonna go away or if it's gonna get better. Let's not base it on who we want to be president. Let's base it on caring about each other. Let's not base it on, well, Trump said this, so we ain't gonna do it. Let's not base it on, well, Trump's gonna get reelected if this thing goes away and, and we can't have that. Let's not do that, people. Please don't believe that, well, no matter who you are. And I, I can hardly see these comments, guys. Hello, Diva. I'm just speaking from the heart tonight, guys, because I want my Democrat friends, I want my Republican friends, I want us to all work together. I, I really don't want to think that people would hate Trump so bad Yeah, Bernard, and see, that's what's adding up, and that's what I research in. I want my Democrat friends to see that, because um, I've got a lot of friends that's Democrats, and I love them. i got family that is. And, and Mike, that's, and I'm afraid that's what it's all about. I'm a, they've already started saying, well, look at the, uh, the uh, what is it, GDP, or whatever it is. I, I'm, I'm tired and can't think right now. It, it's uh, way down or ever it was in 33% uh, less growth or something like that, the worst it's ever been, unemployment worst it's ever been. They're already starting that, and I'm afraid it's fulfilling a narrative. And I want my Democratic friends to say this, and liberal friends to say this. Enough is enough, news media. We want to hear the truth regardless if it gets Trump reelected or not. We want to hear the truth and we want to hear the facts. Quit spinning everything. And I want people, and I know in your heart, you don't believe this, that as long as COVID goes on and the economic crisis continue because of COVID, that it might mean that Trump don't get elected. And I hope you don't hate a person that much that you would wish such turmoil on a people, such economic ruin, uh, death like Robbie was just mentioning, and, and people not being healthy just to get Trump out of office. I pray to, I pray to God that uh, if, if you even think that in your heart, that you'll ask God to get it out of your heart. Yes, I know it, Robbie. I know it, Draft Horse Diva. I, I, I know it. It's, uh, it's, and, and I want us all to be together. I mean, you know, whoever wins the election, they win the election. Fair, I want it to be fair and square. You know, I didn't like it when Obama was president. It wasn't because of his skin color. I just didn't like his politics. But I, I put up with it for eight years, and I accepted it. You know, and I wouldn't have wished anything bad to happen to the United States to cause him not to win. I wanted it to be fair. I wanted it to be fair with Trump and Biden. I don't like it when people talk about Biden having dementia. Because if he does, you don't need to make fun of nobody like that. You know, and that that's exactly right, Bernard. We don't need to hate a person so much that it makes us lose focus. Like Bernard just said, we don't need to hate somebody that bad. I mean, I don't hate Biden. Matter of fact, it sort of makes me mad when, when, when I see memes of, uh, I don't know Joe Biden. I don't know a lot of these things they're putting about him, uh, you know, stiffing uh, women's necks and all that stuff. It sort of turns me off when people put stuff like that on there because I don't know that to be true. Anybody can Photoshop stuff. I don't like it when they say he's got dementia because he is getting old and I don't like old people to be talked about. You know, even if he, he is an opponent of the Republican Party, I don't like it when they talk about him. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Mike, I've got many opinions on that, and we'll go in them another night. I'm trying to pe preach uh, peace and union between all of us tonight. Uh, just whoever wins in November, they win, okay? But I want it to be fair. I don't want to be no voter fraud. Uh, I, I don't want it to be because I don't want it to be because somebody uh, uh, 
said that because all this is gone in square, I'm tired of all this, uh, just complete Trump hating, Trump supporter hating, and then some people going after Biden and going after the Democrats, and uh, and I know I do sometimes too, but tonight I'm asking you, Democrat Republicans come together and hey, let's play a good ball game, let's play a fair ball game, no fouls, uh, no trash talking. Let's play a good game. Do some good strategy, both sides. And then the American people can decide then without having to wade through all the nonsense, all the, the, the media's lies for either one. Let's do that. And then at the end of the day, November 3rd, we can say, hey, we did our best. We came a little shy. Or we can say we did our best and we won and congratulate the other side and just come together as America. Uh, but guys, something is up and it shouldn't be. Democrat, Republicans, let's come together and let's speak out against the media together. Say, guys, get it right. Report on both sides. Trump says does something wrong, report it. Biden does something wrong, report it. If they do something good, praise them. Both of them. Quit playing party favorites. I and mean, we can because we're pulling for one or the other. But the news media that we've looked up to, like somebody said, Walter Cronkite a while ago, and a lot of them guys, we need journalism back. We need true journalism that uh, just put out the truth and then we can decide. That's what I used to like about Fox so much. We report and you decide and Fox ain't even like that no more. Everybody wants you to believe what they, they report and they don't just show you the facts and let you believe it or not and decide for yourself. But anyway, I'm gonna get off my soapbox because I gotta go check on mom and my daughter just messaged me to make sure India was okay. So we appreciate you guys. And I want to see a lot more love from myself, from everybody, both sides of the aisle. And uh, like I said, I've been a racer in Scottsville, and I've changed my tone a lot. Because, you know, when tomorrow's said and done, when it's all over, if we can say we've done the best we could, him and me, then we can shake hands and help work together. And that's the way it ought to be. Hey, Hidden. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I know, Bernard. Hey, there you go, Hidden. Hey, I got to win mayor first. <laughs> and if I don't, I'm going to keep on pushing on. Mike, thank you, brother. I'm going to get off here. Hey, and uh, we may get to come back this weekend and talk to you guys. And I'll try to go live during our Jacksonian uh, Moonlight Madness up here uh, at the Antique Mall Saturday. I'll keep you guys updated on India, too, because I know you guys, you think of us as family, and we think of you as family. No matter what your beliefs are, uh, we love you. And I know we don't agree on everything, and I know you don't agree on everything I say, uh, but we can all stand together. That's what family does, because I've got a diverse family that believes a lot of different things. But, you know, when push comes to shove and somebody goes to mess with our family, we all take up for each other, no matter if we're mad at each other or not. Oh, we'll have to do that sometime, Hidden, for sure. And that's the way we are, and that's the way we should be in the United States. We can bicker and fight amongst ourselves in America, but when I think what's going on right now, it, it's time for all of us. Hey, Joni, it's time for all of us to say, hey, we're Americans. We're Americans first. We ain't going to let such go on in our country. God bless y'all. God bless America.